Hey, Glenn. Maisie. I woke up this morning. Always a good sign. Sure. Anyways, I can't help but notice it's balls cold. And I was just wondering, what did you do? First, I've had some great progress with they who should not be named, and I don't know what you think I did, but I do wonder why you sound like whatever it was is a bad thing. I think the weather's great. It's pretty hard to start a fire like this. You know what else is hard to do in weather like this? Mm, lots of things. It's really hard to cook an egg on the sidewalk. No one's really out picking flowers right now, or cutting the grass, hunting snakes, or doing other things to nature. Except fishing. Apparently this is very good fishing weather. No, it's hard to feel warm, Glenn. I guess, but that other stuff I listed is still true. Fine, whatever. Listen, whatever you did, just undo it. I don't know why you want me to undo something I never did. Or how. I can't undo what I didn't do in the first place. Because this is Texas. Central Texas. And it's cold. And it gets cold every year. We have a whole season for it. It is cold winter. Of course, it only lasts a few weeks here, and it's really not that bad. This is that bad. They're talking about snow, Glines. We might get snow tomorrow night. Only for a few hours. You know, in some states, they have snow for days. Months, even. I think Montana's had snow every month uh, for the over the year for at least once. Montana's cursed. You know, it might be. I'll have to look into that. Although, if they're cursed because of that, wouldn't Canada also be cursed? I don't know about that. They seem to be doing okay up there. Then again, I don't really follow Canadian news. I should start doing that. I'm gonna do that. Glint? Do you know any good Canadian newspapers? Online options. Cutting down trees for paper is such a waste. And everything that would go into transport mailing them down here. But I guess most publications are online nowadays. Glint! Yeah, Z. Shut up and fix this. Fix what? The weather. You can't fix the weather, Z. That isn't how things work. The weather isn't broken. This isn't how you fix global warming, you know. I believe it's called climate change. But more to the point, <clears throat> you do know weather and climate aren't the same thing, right? I know I'm cold, and I hate every second of this. Climate is observed over decades, and weather is observed more in real time. Not only that, but a warmer climate can exacerbate extreme weather conditions. That's why we're having storms as bad as we have. And wildfires. Do you think Montana curses would help with wildfires? I don't care, and I hate you. I'm gonna go to Montana for my next vacation. I'm gonna look into that. You wanna come with? Why would I want to go to a place that's mostly snow most of the time? I don't even want to be around Texas snow. But to help with the wildfires, don't get me wrong. Some is good and part of what helps growth, but after a certain point, it's just excessive. I wish there was a wildfire here. It's too damn cold. No, you don't. You would be dead. At least I'd be warm. Your dog would be dead. Damn it. You're right. So, Montana, I've never studied a statewide curse before. No, you just caused a citywide one. A cold front is hardly a curse, it's just part of nature. Whatever, just undo what you did. I didn't do anything, but if I did, I wouldn't want to undo it suddenly. What are you talking about? Texas weather is so moody, no one would notice if it suddenly goes from about to snow to being nice and warm again. This is true. Isn't it supposed to be in the 60s a couple days after it might snow a bit anyway? It should be 60s now, or 90s. It will be before you know it, and then it will stay that way or hotter for months. You should enjoy this change of pace while it lasts. There's nothing to enjoy about this change of pace. I'm sure there are lots of kids who would love to see snow. For them, it'll probably be their first time. I don't like kids. I like being warm. Why don't you brew yourself a warming potion? Or some sort of heater charm? You make stuff every summer to deal with the heat. Don't you? Do you think we're hot because it's a curse? I wouldn't call Texas cursed. Not in front of other Texans, anyway. Can't do any potions for warmth. I don't have the ingredients. I'm not venturing out into the cold to get some. Guess I could just use some of my vodka, warm myself up that way. You could have the ingredients delivered. By the time it gets here, the snow threat will have passed. So it's not that bad, then. 
I didn't do anything or have anything to do with this, but if I did, I wouldn't feel too bad over having people endure a little bit of cold that might be good for me to study, and which might give very good information, which will be a good starting point for our trip to the Cursed North. That sounded better in my head, but I meant Montana. I know what you meant. Go back to that bit about research. Don't tell me you somehow convinced your pact holder to help you freeze the city for some stupid research. It's not stupid. Freezing weather spells could be very effective in all types of situations, especially ones in which have such a large area of effect. Do you know how much I've hated this cold? You have been letting me know this whole conversation, yeah? I'm cold. My dog is cold. She's shivering. You fix this right now. Sorry, I think I hear my pact holder er, calling. Upholding my end of a pact is hard work, you know. Don't you hang up on me. Gotta go. Bye. Son of a bitch. Hi, everybody. I'm Weirden. I'm Zombie. How about you hit that like button if you thought this was entertaining or if we got a chuckle out of you? Maybe give a subscribe, see some other stuff that we do. We do try and post weekly-ish. Yeah, we're getting better about that, and maybe maybe just hit it if you have some thoughts and want to give us some criticisms, perhaps, in the comments below. Yeah. Or talk and... about, like, your weird-ass weather experiences, because, man, we are having some. Yeah. Or the stuff you guys do to prepare for the weather, like uh, buy out all the space heaters, the bread, or wrap your stuff around your pipes. Yeah. I so. did, um... Which I didn't know about until just now. Yeah, I uh, I did tell my sister to um, not, she just worked from home, to not work on Monday and tell them that the internet pipes weren't wrapped and that they burst. See how many people <laughs> believed her. <laughs> but, like, all of her supervisors, they're, they're local here in Saytown, so I mean. Oh. It might work. They might not catch that. They might be like, oh no, are our, our, our pipes wrapped? Will our internet burst? <laughs> right. Uh, Their internet just coincidentally goes down. Yeah, I actually, I did so that we might have um, power outages. <laughs> uh, it's, already, <coughs> it's already happening in Kerrville. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>